And we are back. We are back. We got a lot of stuff to talk about today, dude. Like, I got a fucking YK11 review to fucking go over, dude. I started the T-ball. That's awesome. I've gained some weight. Um, there's things that are fucking have happening in the gym. The injury update. A lot of shit to go over today. A lot of stuff to go over. I'm also going to, um, today, I'm also going to show you pretty much like what I take on a daily basis. Now, there's obviously, I mean, I take Tylenol and ibuprofen fucking a shit ton. Just for the sheer fact that my fucking back fucking hurts like shit. And I'm like, I'm gonna tell you all a little story before we get into this, right? All right, so on, we don't, me and my girlfriend, we don't, we don't really go out because like the name over here it says broke bodybuilder. We don't really have a lot of fucking, we just don't go out a lot. So, because we're broke, or not really broke, but we just have to save our money rather. So, but we went out, you know, to the bar, to a a a, a pub around our area called McGurk's, dude. It's a pretty nice bar, dude. Pretty like I would say it's more the upscale of one that's in that's in my area, Bel Air. But anyway, doesn't matter. We go there. I fucking see so many people from high school. It was fucking ridiculous. Like I think I saw like my entire fucking class, all the classes below me. Like it was a fucking like a reunion out there, dude. It was pretty fucking fun, dude. I got fucking twisted. And I'm telling you, talking about like I had so much vodka and Red Bull that I can't. I didn't even know. I don't know when we left the bar. I don't know how we. I mean, I know how we got home now. But I, I don't fucking shh. I woke up in the morning and I was like, how the fuck did I get here? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? When you wake up from a hangover or from a night of drinking, you're like, all right, whoa, whoa. Where am I, dude? What time is it? And how the fuck did I get here, dude? And where the fuck's my ride? That's pretty much what it was coming to. But I was in the house, so I was like, okay. At least I made it back here. I'm not in a jail cell. Okay, but anyway. So... I'm fucking at the bar, dude. I fucking have like fucking 20 fucking, I swear to God. Like, I used to date one of the bartenders. Her name is Sierra. I used to date one of the bartenders back years ago, years ago, years ago. And, you know, my girlfriend now and her are friends, you know. Like, they're cool and shit. But she was like giving us free drinks all night. So she was being really fucking cool. And my girl was even like, yo, Sierra was being really fucking cool tonight. And I was like, yeah, I know. She's being straight. But anyway. Fucking, um, so we're getting free drinks on top of me spending like 150 fucking beans at the goddamn bar. Like, that's ridiculous. I looked at my bank account the next day and I was like, holy shit. And I had like 80 bucks in my wallet. There was fucking like eight in there, dude. <laughs> I swear that I wanted to go pay for one beer though. And the beer is like, you know, I think it's like three dollars, three or four dollars, dude. My ass walks up to the bar, dude. I swear to God, I handed this bitch a 20, didn't even wait for my change and rolled out. Yeah, like legit. I think I just gave her like a like a like a uh, a seventeen dollar tip. She's probably like happy as shit. She's probably this motherfucker thinks I'm fucking sexy or something. Oh my god, look at that. <laughs> probably thinks I was sexy or something. That's probably what she thought, dude. Psych, bitch. <laughs> she wasn't. Dude. She definitely was not. But yeah, so I lost the $20. Well, at least she got 17 bucks, dude, so that's cool, dude. I didn't tell my girlfriend about the little $17 mishap, dude, just because I think that she wouldn't have really liked that one if I fucking told her about it. She'd be pretty pissed off. Gotta clean this fucking banger today, bro. But yeah. Oh, what I take every day, like supplement-wise, this is definitely one of those supplements, dude. If I didn't have this, buddy, I don't even know, man. I really don't even know. It, my, my life would be in shambles. I'm telling you that right now. Complete shambles. Dude. Oh, right, all right, all right. Yeah. <coughs> Fuck. <coughs> okay. Leave that there, dude. I have my glasses here. I probably should put those on because I can't fucking read for shit here right now. I gotta be able to do it like a little. I set up my glasses the other day, dude, and they're kind of like lopsided a little bit. I'm not even fucking with it. They're like a little lopsided. I gotta fucking fix them. 
<coughs> it's fucking me up. So we're not gonna fuck with that right now. That's cool. <coughs> All right, so I just have to get really close to reach it. But again, with the story. Okay, so me and my girl, right? We're fucking. Uh, we're fucking. We find sell people we know at the bar, right? Have fuck. We, we Uber there because I, I sold my car. So we don't have a ride home. We're, we're gonna Uber, right? But our phones also don't have Wi-Fi, so we have to be at some, or we don't we don't have service because we can't afford a phone right now. So we can only use our phone and Wi-Fi, which be like in McDonald's or like some random spot, so we can call an Uber, right? Well, our fucking drunk ass is fucking follow one of our friends out of the bar. We're not, wasn't the friend that told us he would take us home? Oh, actually, he no, he did say that. He's like, yeah, I'd take y'all, but it's not even his car. So we fucking hop into this other dude's truck. I'm in the fucking bed of the truck with my girlfriend, fucking laughing uncontrollably, dude. I don't even know how the fuck I ended up in the back of the trunk. I don't remember getting in the 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 the, the truck. I don't remember none of that shit. Dude. I'm in the bed. I don't remember that. All I remember is is stopping at 7-Eleven, standing up, falling out of the truck, legit, fell out of the bed, hurt like shit, like, ow. Hurt like shit, dude. And then this motherfucker tells us, I can't take y'all home, I gotta drive to the city. Bitch, our fucking house is literally five minute walk from the exit. You're taking us fucking home. And he's like, dude, I can't do that. I'm like, dude, so you're gonna make us walk all the way? And I had to leave because I was about to fucking beat the shit out of this dude. Yeah, this wasn't even my friend, Al wasn't even the Alex kid that told us to so pick us up. It was some, his faggot ass friend. If I was a friend, like, if I was Alex and my friend said some dumb ass shit like that to me, I'd knock his bitch ass out, throw his ass in the bed of the truck, and drive my fucking friends home. That's fucked up. So, I had a fucking, dr I had a walk. Me and my girlfriend had a walk. You don't know how far this is. But from McGurk's to fucking, like, my house, at like 4 o'clock in the morning when you're fucking wasted as shit, it's like, it's gotta be, it's gotta be at least 6 miles, I would say, dude. Because, like, I know some distances from, like, here to my buddy's house. And all that's on the same road. That's, like, 2.2 miles. And that's not even past the fucking school, yo. But apparently, on the fucking, on the walk home, I don't, I don't remember any of this. But apparently, I was so pissed off and, like, wilding out that I'm, I'm, this, this, I'm about this fucking dude not taking us home. That I was, like, screaming, dude. I was fucking, like, sprinting, fucking trying to knock over fences and shit. Like, fucking apparently I jumped, I jumped in a pond. I'm from a library. Don't remember that, dude. Thank God I didn't have my phone, dude. Because if I did, it'd be, shit, it'd be fucking ruined, dude. I have to get a new wallet. Wallet totally, st dude, it stinks. Hard as shit. Oh, and I fucking have to wear, I was gonna put off on buying, you know, a new pair of shoes for like a month, or like a month probably, dude. I gotta go out there and get them like Thursday because I jumped in the pool, in the fucking pond with the shoes on. And yeah, not putting them back on, dude. So, I had a very fucking eventful Friday night. I think it was. Yeah. Friday night, dude. And I saw my boss at the bar, dude. He was wild. It was funny as shit. He was fucking dancing and everything. I was fucking... Actually, I saw both my bosses at the bar last night. They weren't even with each other. They were just fucking both chilling. It's fucking cool. And like, wait, weird. The other night I went out, the night, not this night, I saw my other boss. How weird. I'm like seeing my boss. Like, they follow me around, dude. Let me fucking find out. They follow me around. All right. Let's get in before we get into the YK11 because we're gonna do the update afterwards, dude. Because let me tell you, fuck that shit is nice. All right. But before we get into any of that, dude, we're gonna fucking. Jeez. God. Yo, do better than I did on a cycle, Garrett. I'm telling you that right now, bro. I definitely do, yeah. All right, but we're going to start with number one, dude. Now, you might know, might wonder, what the fuck is ShopRite, dude? All right, ShopRite is a fucking br branch fucking chain of supermarkets along the East Coast, I think. It's like Southern or Northern. I don't fucking know. I'm in Maryland, dude, and they're fucking... So it's probably Southern, yeah. So I would say Southern, dude. And so this is that brand, dude, and because we're broke, as the fucking name over here says, we go with a bargain brand, dude, that still offers the most amounts of shit, you know, for, per, you know, your dollars, you know what I mean? So, 
Some dude was like, you're not smart, are you? I was like, no, nah, I actually am pretty smart. It was always baked. Always. Never not, dude. Why would you go through life not enjoying every second of that shit? I mean, you can't because you, you got shit to, you know, shit happens to you. But if I can fucking enjoy it, you better believe it. I'm going to do that shit. All right. So, one multivitamin a day. If. I don't go to the gym. If I go to the gym, I'll t I will take one after I work out, dude. Just to like replenish the shit, dude. I just read that's good taking two more five vitamins a day because we, as as the people who lift, we are expending a lot more energy and a lot more fucking vitamins and minerals from our body and our sweat than a normal person. Believe that, dude. A normal person, I would think, doesn't even sweat that much a day. We sweat more than more people sweat in the first five minutes of our cardio than most people sweat in their whole fucking week. So, probably be necessary to uh, take two of them a day. Yeah. <clears throat> Secondly, dude, I have, this isn't a supplement, dude, but I got fucking heartburn like a bitch, dude, like all the time. And it's literally, I don't know what the fuck it is. I, I think it's just fucking like genetic or something, dude. I don't know what the fuck it is, dude. But <clears throat> it seriously started happening hard as fuck, like six months ago. And it's progressively getting worse. And now, if I don't take two of these, like Zantac 150s, a day. If I take one in the morning and one at night, it's not waking me up out of my sleep. I'm breathing during the middle of the day, choking. Like, it's bad. I don't know what the fuck is going on, dude. So I gotta go to like, the fucking doctor and get that shit checked out. Uh, oh, so the a ASC cycle right here. Support, dude. Um... I'm gonna buy this again, but this is uh, what I'm using right now because I've started the T-ball. And you know, even though T-ball is mild and stuff, you still wanna have the proper protection, dude. You still wanna have the protection, you, it, you know what I mean? Like you gotta have that liver support. This one is comprehensive organ support, liver and li liver support and detoxifier, and total, total cardio cardiovascular protection. It's got milk thistle, hawthorn berry, Saul, palmetto, grape seed, vitamin K2, aged garlic, and then some couple two things that I can't actually pronounce, but you can like, I guess you can like, like read up on there, dude. I'm not sure if that's gonna, I'm like blind, so I don't know if that like focused or not, dude, but yeah. Um, it says take 20 minutes for a meal, dude. I'm about to fucking eat my breakfast, so I'm gonna take four of them, bitches, dude. Yep. 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 They smell a little funky though, dude. It's not, not like funky, dude. I, I I just feel like I don't know why, but I just have a feeling that's like hawthorn berry that I'm like smelling for some reason. Like I feel like I've smelled that before. Like this is like that's what it smells like. Could just be high as shit. That <laughs> could be very well. This little fucking bond. That's annoying. All right. And then another thing from enhanced athlete, dude. Um. I just heard that this was fucking great, dude. And let me, let me, let me, let me even type this shit up real quick, dude. It's called, what, what, is, what is that even called, dude? Acreotic something, what the fuck? Erratic dot fucking, there we go. Okay, well, anyway, it, like, breaks plateaus, increases recovery, and helps with healing, increases your tests, increases muscle mass. It has a lot of different things that uh, are beneficial to me personally, dude. So, this is why I take this, and within the few days that I have been taking it, I've noticed a difference, dude. So, um, in the gym and not in the gym. And I think also with the organ support, because I was trying to take the T-ball, and I honestly, even though it's mild, I was starting to feel kind of like sluggish, dude. and Kind of like tired. I was sleeping a lot, dude. And I wasn't like waking up in my normal time, dude. And that's a sign that your liver is being taxed. So, I'm glad that I fucking got that. I'm glad that I decided to take that. And I feel literally a fucking like 100% better, dude. And I'm not even kidding. Like, the other day... <laughs> Other, they, they, like, like five days ago, I wasn't really feeling all that hot, dude. Like, I was still, you know, myself and shit, but I was just, like, tired as fuck. Like, it was just, like, 
And I was like, why am I so tired? I'm like, well, I'm like going to my job, like going through the day, like yawning and shit. Like, and just like my body just felt tired. And like, I wasn't recovering as fast. Like it took me like a day or two to really, like, day or two more to recover. Like, yeah, man, it was fucking just annoying. So yeah. Um, I take vitamin B6. Vitamin C B6 just for like energy. My girlfriend also takes this. Um, she should take it like a B vitamin complex for real, but I heard that B6 is uh, especially good. Also, I heard B6 is like 500 milligrams can help control prolactin, which is a uh, uh, beneficial. Like if you don't want to take cabriolene, because like nine times out of ten with a prolactin like Deca, you're not gonna really need not prolactin like Deca, but a uh, fucking what the fuck is Deca called? Neander uh, uh, Neanderlon. No, no underline. God I can't even say it right now. But dude, I, you won't need caber nine times out of ten, dudes. But so, but if you do have a prolactin issue, you can usually use this, and you can control estrogen with zinc, I think, too, if you don't want to take the AI. Cause I know a lot of people have bad reactions with the AI, aka I did, like fucking horribly. XMS thing. And then again, I think that was just from like what the XMS thing actually did to my body, not the actual XMS thing itself. Like, I don't think my body reacted to the XMS stain. I mean, it might have given me that rash, but like the other side effects, the XMS stain actually like made happen to my body, fucked me up, dude. So I'm never taking XMS stain again. Never again. I threw it. I threw it out halfway through cycle, dude, or not halfway, like towards the end. And I was like on six weeks with like no fucking AI, and you could start to see like a little bit of like a puffiness. Dude. It went away immediately, dude. You know, when I, saw, I started to supplement with a little bit of zinc and, it, and like I actually used this too as well I started taking that dude and this is an estrogen blocker dude. a little bit of an estrogen blocker not like a bunch you know because it's still over the counter but it still worked dude so just like a lot of people don't even take an AI on cycle some people only take Novadex on cycle I might give that a shot next time who the fuck knows but I take uh I've been taking this tribulus tribulus Whatever the fuck this is called. Tribulus, there you go, dude. You can buy it on Amazon. A lot of people say natural test boosters are shit, dude. Well, this is the main ingredient in most of them, dude. So I, 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 and like, this is the one that's actually been shown, like this chemical or this, this like plant is actually the only one that's really has research behind it and it's been tested to show that it actually does increase levels. All the other shit like Funy Geek and whatever other shit there is, there's not really research behind that. This there is, so I chose to go with that, dude. My buddy Gun put me on to that. Not not that exact brand, but this exact thing. The serving size is two capsules. I take three capsules a day. I have been since I started PCT, or actually even before that. Sorry, I started that on site. I've been taking this for whew, three months. Uh, yeah, three months now, dude. Um, <clears throat> oh, and remember, I I don't uh, I take flaxseed oil thousand milligrams twice a day it says take it like three times a day i think dude yeah three to four times a day i probably should do that dude i just i just usually take once in the morning and then yeah once after i work out or once when i get home from work or so whenever i remember to take it they're on my desk so i see them all the time so i probably could do that but i'm not just like gonna bring this bottle with me to work like i feel like that'd be a little weird People just see me taking pills at work. I don't know. <laughs> oh no, it, 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 it looks, doesn't look like a, like, a, like a sketch pill though. It looks like fucking you know, just looks like this guy, dude. But this is better than fish oil, <clears throat> in my opinion. For one, it uh, it does the same exact things fish oil does, dude. But this provides 400 milligrams of omega three and omega six fatty acids, and fish oil fuck oh and omega nine. Excuse me. Yes, and omega nine. So this is three six nine. This has all three. I'm pretty sure fish oil does too, but dude, but the three fish oil only has three hundred and fifty for per hundred milligram thing. So this is you get more for your money. So I was like, fucking right. And plus fish oil is more popular, so it costs a little bit more. So I was like, you know what? And I'll get the little burp shit. I'm sold, dude. You got me. I got you. <coughs> Cause I was told that I fucking need to start taking like that I'm just told that I need to start taking that so I did it for sure dude. 
And then here, uh, to support bone and immune health, vitamin D3. All right, <clears throat> this also helps with mood. It doesn't say it does, but I know it does. Because I kid you not, you get vitamin D3 from the sun, dude. So you have to go outside and fucking get that shit. And you know, like absorb, you can absorb it through your skin. Like if I put this, if I bust this capsule open probably, just like a vitamin E capsule, and I'm like put it on my skin, my skin would absorb that shit over a period of time. It would. I, mean, I kid you not. Do that shit. Look it up. It would. Uh, some people fucking put the bust the capsules of vitamin, K, vitamin uh, E capsules up and like they put it on their face. Like it's just, I swear to God. It fucking, it does shit. It works. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I take, uh, I take vitamin D3. It helps, helps with my mood for real. And because I swear to God, I go through seasonal depression. And if I, I don't know. When it gets, the sun goes away, I go away. Dude. So, it sucks. So this helps, helps actually not do that. And my girl takes this as well. She takes this and the B6 along with me. Every day. She doesn't take any of this other shit. And then, uh, oh, yes. And then the stripple, I take this right here, dude, for my back and my joints. Because of, like, years of skateboarding, mostly snowboarding, but fucking years of snowboarding, longboarding, fucking eating shit, like, just, yeah. And for some reason, like, I vividly remember thinking this all the time. I'm invincible. My fucking body, like, I can just fucking run through this shit. I'll be fine, dude. And I fucked myself up mad, dude. I think it's because, like, I, I don't know. I really don't know why I thought of that, like, all the time. But I, like, my body got fucked up, dude. So, this supports mobility, flexibility, and joint comfort. <clears throat> which is straight, dude. And if I, if I don't take this, and, like, seriously, even if you look at some of the other, like, pro bodybuilders, natural bodybuilders... Not like the, I mean, I'm sure they do, I'm sure the enhanced people obviously to take this as well, but there's a really guy I like to watch named Josh Brigman, you know, and he, he even, uh, he's like a natural, big as shit, fucking like, you know, just look him up, Josh Bridgman, it's cool as shit, funny as hell too, dude, but anyway, his videos are way better than mine, way more put together, he's cool as fuck though, but yeah, you should watch, I learned a lot from him, so I would check out his channel for sure, but he, um, he definitely he put he put me onto this. I watched some of his videos about his muscle building, not muscle building, but like supplements that he likes to take, dude. And MSM was one of the was one of the top ones that he mentioned. So this is triple strength with that, dude. So I, I will probably next time I'll probably buy this, and then I'll probably another I'll probably buy a separate MSM supplement just so I can like you know even more help with that, dude. Uh, after I do a little bit more research on it, like yeah, I'll see. If, that work but I take two of these a day sometimes I take four of the day dude if I'm going to like do um <coughs> if I'm going to do back but or something like that but I, I I um haven't been doing back dude yesterday I got 315 on an incline what the fuck I know dude that's crazy it's nuts I surprised. Oh no, excuse me, dude. It wasn't even three. It wasn't even three fifteen because I put a fucking. I put a. Uh, I put two five or one five on each side after that, dude. So that's three twenty five, dude, on the incline. That's nuts, dude. I didn't have a spotter either. That's nuts. It's fucking crazy, dude. I didn't know that 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 could happen, dude. And the thing is, is that incline on incline bench, I'm fine. Like totally fine. Like an incline peck, incline peck flies, I'm fine. It's when I start to go wide or when I try to like push like from like right here, dude. It fucking like, like down here, it's like what I feel is like this little connector part is when I like pulled my chest. It's like, you know that little horseshoe you have right here? The little Italian one like right there? You can kind of see mine. You probably can't, but maybe. <laughs> it, it like hurt like right below there, dude. So like hurt like right below that fucking area, dude. And it's shit fucking, uh, it hurts a little bit, not like right now, but like it doesn't hurt at all during the day and shit, or even when like when I stretch it. But when I uh, go to the gym and try to do some like flat bench, I have to go a little bit lighter than normal. But the incline's fine. So I've been fucking doing incline for weeks, and it's definitely improved like a fucking shit ton. It just jumped up like 50 pounds. That's crazy as fuck. And I'm not even on cycle. What the fuck? 
Whoa. So either this YK11 is fucking serious as fuck. Like, yeah. Or this T-ball is like super fast acting and fucking I'm just like immediately strong as fuck, dude. I, I don't think that happened, dude. I think that the YK11, yeah. Because I've been seeing steady strength increases from the YK11, but, but we'll get into that in a second. Um, and then I take three of these, dude. Now I'm giving, I'm just like doing this, like giving this a shot, dude, for real. Um, I've been taking five on workout days, and I've been taking three on non-workout days. Now I don't really know if that's like a if that's like a thing that people do. But I have noticed that if I take two of these before I go to the fucking gym, my workout is definitely better. So, like, it's not, I wouldn't say this is, like, as serious as D-ball or anything, but I definitely feel good. Like, this is, like, makes you feel good. It does. So, <clears throat> so I take three in the morning on workout days, and then, and then two before I work out. And on non-workout days, I just take three in the morning right now with all my shit. So, I gotta get some cup. I have cop mouth like a bitch. I gotta get some water. Like my little office here, dude. Moving in, got some unloading some boxes and shit. No, that's just a fucking TV box. I'm not unloading no fucking boxes. All right. Um, and then this pure raws. Uh, MK two eight six six and the proven peptides YK eleven. We're gonna talk about that. We'll talk about that in um in a little bit. We'll put that over here, dude. Yeah. So the MK two eight six six. I've been using this bottle. This bottle right here since the beginning <clears throat> of my PCT, dude. Beginning of my PCT. This bottle will be finished today, by the way. Um, because it, it keeps my gains. I mean, and you can't say that it has not. Because, listen, the heaviest I weighed on cycle, like, legitimately the heaviest, dude. I gotta, there's, like, a little bit left in this bottle, so I gotta fucking, like, put a little bit of water in there. Mix it up. But the heaviest I ever weighed on cycle, dude, was 180. And that was only for, like, one fucking day, dude. That wasn't even, <clears throat> that wasn't even, you know, a long time. Or it wasn't even, yeah, it wasn't even 180 for, like, a week or nothing like that. Wow. That's fucking gross. So, and right now, I weighed myself yesterday after my workout and after I was getting changed. So, this is just my boxers, okay? A couple, like a week ago, I dropped down below 170. I started to get scared. I was at like 168. I saw I was getting a little scared. 173. And I'm going to tell you, I've noticed it. Like, the other, like, that past few days, I haven't weighed myself. I try to stay away from the scale, you know, because it kind of, because it'll piss me off. So like, or or it might make me like happy. So like, I do, I try to do it at the end of the workout, just so like, I don't know. So I'm, I can like, I can like tell myself, okay, listen, this is it's because I lost a little water weight. I walk around heavier than that. You're fine, dude. You know, just dumb shit like that, dude. But um, I'm gonna fucking take these real quick, dude, and then we'll talk about the YK level, dude, in the review. Oh, well, one of the tea balls just went into the fucking, into this fridge here. Mr. C is going to have a steroid pill in his, uh, <laughs> <laughs> he's going to have a steroid pill in his, in his fucking, in his fridge, dude. Oh, I see it down there, too. You can see that, bitch. I'm going to take these right now, so I don't forget. I'm going to fucking drop them again, dude. God damn it, it is down in there, that bitch. Fucking A. How about I get that out? Like, for real. I mean, what do y'all think I should do, yo? Yo, did you guys hear it roll? Did you hear it, like, roll down up in there? 
I saw it too. It was like it like tipped on its side and then it started rolling over there. Oh, here we go. Right up in that bitch. I guess that's my fault for like having like right here. Anyway. Gotta get the another one out, dude. It's cool though. Tomorrow will be workout day, and I'll have uh, five left in this little fucking sleeve. So it kind of works out, dude. Even though I wasted wasted one, dude. It is uh, it probably will never be taken, dude. I might I might fucking shimmy up in there and get this, but I feel like that's like drug addict status, dude. And I don't want to get it like that. <laughs> I mean, I'm a, of course I'm going to try to take this top off here. And if it's easy, I will, but I'm not going to like work at it if I'm taking this bitch off, dude. Okay, so the YK11. Now, this is the last day that I've taken YK11. I've been taking YK11 um, since I finished my PCT, which was probably about a month ago. And about a month ago... I, I, I was at like 171 at the end of like PCT, dude. And then I started taking the YK11. But I was also a little bit, I was also a little bit like fatter. I was also a little fatter. I, I leaned out. Like, I don't know. Oh my God. I'm gonna fall over, dude. Holy shit, dude. I've leaned out a little bit, dude. Like, I don't know if you can, you can tell, dude, but I definitely have. You can see the fucking bad shit now, dude, on the fucking back, dude. Matt, you from the thing. But yeah, I'm getting that fucking, like, that line almost around the fucking abs the last, yeah, dude. But I leaned out from the, since then. So I've gained muscle while losing fat. Which is pretty straight. <clears throat> and that's one of the things that YK11 is like, like, does, dude. It's what, um... Enhances muscle growth, prevents fat gains, helps in fighting arthritis. And I'm gonna tell you, my fucking joints, and my hands, and my hands and elbows in particular have been feeling really good. And all my shoulders have been feeling really good. It's just like seriously, from like the middle of my back down, is like where my fucking uh, pain starts. It sucks. Um, prevents baldness, prevents muscle loss. So. That's pretty cool. So I've lost lost no muscle. Oh, the MK also does that same thing. It also prevents muscle losses. It was originally designed for people with osteoporosis, and it like helped muscle waste or like muscle wasting diseases. You know, some people or like muscle dystrophy and shit. Like that's what it was originally made for people for those types of um, disorders. So you ain't wasting, you ain't losing no muscle taking these uh, compounds. So I didn't lose anything, but it helps. It pre it prevents fat, dude. So, but I've, I've cleaned up my diet since on cycle because now I can't just fucking eat anything, you know, and it not affect me. And also, since I'm 27, I know that's not old, dude, but my body has, I've noticed that I just cannot eat whatever the fuck I want anymore. I used to be able to eat whatever the fuck I wanted and it did not affect me. Now, it does. <clears throat> and I'll have to work t like a week or two to fucking, for like a couple of bad fucking meals, you know, that I, that I fucking do, you know, so, it sucks, so I've cleaned up my diet, I've cut out red meat, I've cut out a lot of fat, I don't eat at my job anymore, and if I do, it's a salad with a half of a grilled chicken, because the chick, because the fat ratio in the fucking chick calories from fat is just ridiculous, or not the calories from fat, the fat content is just sometimes ridiculous, so, <clears throat> You can have like chicken breast that's got like maybe 30 grams of protein. You got like 17 grams of fat in there, dude. It's like, what the fuck, dude? It's like a fucking half this fucking chicken, dude. It's fucking fat, dude. You know what I mean? Ah, dude. And then like look at it and it says calories like 350. And then like you got a fucking 150 of it or from fucking uh, fat. You're like... It's ridiculous, dude. I'm not eating that shit. So I cleaned up my diet, which kind of upset me. And I cut out, <clears throat> I cut out milk, dude. 
I felt like milk was fucking me up, breaking me out, dude. But, anyway, cut out milk. I feel better. The YK11, I, I give this a thumbs up, dude. Like, for real. I, 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 in the gym, too. In the gym, my, <clears throat> my, the aggression was, was like through the roof. And tunnel vision. It was nice. Um, I, like I've said in, in past videos, though, this gave, this did give me a little bit of an aggression outside the gym. Like, I, I kirked out on that dude Cody in my job. And there's a couple other people that I've kirked out on, dude, like, 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 <laughs> yesterday. I'm a gym. There's the owner, Brian, dude. I can't, alright, so, a lot of people, you know what I mean, like, don't fucking, don't fucking comment on how I fucking do my shit, how I set my shit up, dude. But, I fucking take these little fucking, these little things off and sell them behind the bench. And, uh. He comes over and he goes, so you took this off? And I was like, yeah. And he's like, why? And I was like, and he's like, you don't need to do that. And I was like, well, I, I just don't like to do it when I, I was on the bench with him on. I don't know what the fuck you want me to tell you. He's, he's like, well, we can put them back on. And I was like, yeah, Ryan. Yeah, dude. And I was just, seriously just like, you're being a fucking little bitch right now, dude. Like, just fucking shut the fuck up. Why? Did you feel the need to come over here and tell me that, dude? Get the fuck out of my face. Dude. Anyway. But, yeah. So, that, that fucking irritated me. He walked away fucking knowing that he fucking irritated the fuck out of me, though. I made him, made him know that. Like, get the fuck out of my face, dude. Like, real real, real shit. Like, who cares? Well, well I... And it's that big of a deal, dude. Then leave, leave him the fuck off. I don't see anybody using these bitches ever, yo. Shut the fuck up, dude. Anyway. Sorry. Had a little fucking thing. So if this if this makes you an angrier person, dude, you could you could get them a little more angry, dude. I mean you gotta be smart, you know, dial it back in, you know, obviously. You know, you don't wanna be kirking out on people all the time. But sometimes this helped it go over the edge a little bit, dude. Anyway. So, YK11 is fucking good for that. The strength gains. The strength has been going steady up every week. Just like I said, dude. Had fucking 325 on incline bench. The heaviest I've ever gotten on cycle was 290. So, this that's serious as fuck, dude. <clears throat> that's serious as fuck, dude. That's, I, that's just... Actually, dude... On, oh no, I hit 345, but yeah, uh, maxes, dude, like, that's above, that's creeping up to my flat bench, you know what I mean, even though the, like, the, uh, the little peck here on this side is, like, strained or something, still, throwing shit up, I'm just gonna end up my back, it still hurts, dude, but we'll get into that later, I'm not gonna do it, do it going into that right now, we're getting a little long-winded right now. I uh, hope y'all enjoyed the video, though. If you have, give it a thumbs up, dude. Um, this is my vlog style video. So, hope y'all like this this style, dude. And we're in, like, a new setting. New setting, dude. And I did, like, a little physique walk around update type deal, dude. Still fucking... Whoa! Wow! God damn it. Whoa. <laughs> There, it's serious. Yeah. Thank you, YK. Thank you, sir. Hello, governor. Tea and crumpets, yeah? Cute, isn't it? <laughs> no, but... No, but y, y, YK11 was straight, man. I like that. I'm definitely gonna give it... I'm definitely definitely buying some more. 100%, dude. Um, I am... The, the, the negative side effects... Only thing I can say about the YK11... Literally... Oh my god, dude. I, I literally probably... I, I don't even think there was a negative... That I had any negative side effects, to be completely honest. I just think the side... The, 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 um, the side effects for, like, select antigen receptor modulators are very minimal. All of them. Uh, the only ones that I've noticed from uh, the SARMs that I've taken were, one, hunger. Two, is aggression. That's it. 
And even this even says no negative side effects. And this isn't even a fucking proven peptides website. And the fucking picture of a proven peptide SARM, it doesn't say proven peptides because you obviously can't, they can't put their, their name in there, on there. Yeah, they can't because it doesn't say it. <coughs> but the bottle is proven peptide. It has the little fucking logo and everything. I'm looking at it right now. Crazy as shit. Anyway. So yeah, there's that. YK11 gets a fucking thumbs up for in the strength department, in the size department. I've gained, um, since I started taking that, which I was like 168. So I've gained five pounds in one month by taking YK11 and the MK2866. But last time I took MK, I didn't gain any weight. I just shredded up like this, like fucking shredding up, dude. You know I mean, but this also does that and this helped me burn fat while gaining muscle. They both did So I get both of them fucking thumbs up dude for real. I'm about to um Start the MK 2866 by or I, I might actually no. I'm starting that um, Tomorrow I'm Running with that with the t-ball because the t-ball has a very low androgen receptor uh, or, or androgen rating so to add some androgenic effects I'm gonna add in the SARM just to you know a little bit, a little bit more, dude. So it just I feel like and plus T ball has the ability to make and anything else you're taking, whether it's a SARM, pro hormone, steroid, it doesn't matter. T ball has the ability to make everything work better. Apparently, like it, 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 it like it tends to increase the effects of other drugs. That's why it's such a good as a, as a stacking compound. So. So T ball by itself is probably good, but I get, but I feel like T ball with other things is just so much better. So that's what we're doing. But anyway, I uh, hope you liked the video. Um, fucking right. <laughs> Till next time, dude.